day. We're going to talk a little NFL draft. Uh, the question is, where do we want the quarterbacks in the NFL draft to land? Now, this is what would be the most fun for us, what we want to have happen. Now, we're going to go through what, top five? Yeah. All right, so we're, we're doing top five. I think we've got the same top four, and we've got a different one for the fifth one, each of us. But we're going through and listing where we would like for them to go. Now, this has nothing to do with the draft. It's not where we think. This is not a mock draft. This is where we would like for them to play. That's the point. I have one that is a possibility, and some would actually say a probability. Outside of that, That's, none and of the rest of the matter. I've got the same thing. I've got the same thing. Um, you know, that it's a it's a combination, right? Because there's the the completely never going to happen type stuff that we can talk about. Uh, a lot of mine is, you know, the the possible, still kind of unlikely. Either way, we'll get into it. Go go ahead and give me your uh, your number one. I'm, I'm guessing you've got Burrow, right? So I got Burrow. Yep. And I didn't do the boring thing to say go to Carolina because Joe Brady's there. I think that's predictable. I, I think that's boring. <laughs> And I also think that Teddy Bridgewater is good. (laughs) I try to put these in places where I think these places need a quarterback and, and the quarterback could greatly change. So I picked a franchise that I grew up loving. Okay. It's a place that's near and dear to my heart, super close to them. I love them to death. I think the Chicago bears are a quarterback away from being a great football team. Uh, I think Mitchell Trubisky is that bad. And I think Foles isn't going to be that much better. And if a guy like Burrow went into Chicago, he could be king of the Midwest. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I could. I could see that. That that makes a whole lot of sense. I went Panthers because of Brady. I I think Burrow could be better than Teddy Bridgewater. I think what oh, yeah. what I'm hoping, uh, and and what I think the guys at the uh, the Panthers are hoping is that Teddy Bridgewater is uh, a close version of what Burrow was last year. Now, if he reaches anything close to that, uh, I mean, they'll be Super Bowl contenders. I mean, it's just ridiculous, right? But I I don't know that he is. I know what I saw Burrow do last year, and I know what he can do with Joe Brady. I would love to see it in the NFL and just see if it translates. I believe it will, but I would like to see it. So I I don't know what Burrow would be like under a different coach. Obviously, his first year at LSU, no, he didn't have the same prep time, all that. Um his first year at LSU was nothing like his second year. Uh, what he did at Ohio State was nothing compared to what he did at LSU. Uh, he didn't have as, as many chances. Now, I think he will be given the reins at Cincinnati, but do I trust that coaching staff to be able to take advantage of, of what all he's able to do? No, but I know what he can do with Joe Brady. I no would love to see him with Cincinnati with the Bears. is the head coach. Yeah. And not that I'm a naggy guy, not that I'm a firm believer of the Bears – head coach or front office for that matter. I think that team is really good. I think that team's really good. Yeah. Yeah. I can understand it. I can understand it. Uh, who have you got number two? So I got Tua, and this is the one where he actually has a chance to really go there is the chargers. I, I put down the, I say, go ahead, go ahead. No, I just, I just think that team is, is pretty talented from top to bottom. The downside of this is, they got a bad offensive line. The other downside, here's why he would fit perfectly for me, is this is a team like Washington where every year they just fall apart with injuries. The one place they've never had hurt is the quarterback, and I just figured, hey, let's get a quarterback. We can get hurt. Yeah. We, we all, all other 22 starters end up going down throughout the season, 21 starters. It's time for that guy to go down too. Yeah. So, But if he can stay healthy – they got they got weapons, man. Oh yeah. Now I think Mike Williams is a beast. Now I've had people tell me that I way over exaggerate the greatness of Mike Williams. I think that guy is an absolute star and uh, and, and and an unbelievable talent. So you know, it's uh, what's uh, what's the other guy's name? Um, the other Hunter Henry is the 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 tight end. No, no, no. The the other wide receiver, the kid Keenan that played Cal, Keenan Allen. Yeah, he's a stud as well. Uh, no, I said Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen's great. Yeah, but I but Williams is younger. Williams is substantially healthier than him usually. Yeah, and just far more athletic than Keenan Allen's ever going to be. I Agreed. mean, he's just a, uh, they, I mean, he's both, like a Mike Evans 
like type guy. They both got great hands. They both got fantastic hands. Up, and and yes, you're right. Hunter Henry. I mean, they got weapons all over the field. Uh, you know, yeah. they they got great running backs. They got they do need to work on the offensive line. They got like a 22 um, year old calling plays. I don't know. I don't know what that guy is. Yeah, but who knows? That that worries me a little bit. They got a head coach that could be a moron. Could be okay. I don't know. I mean, really he, he know. did he did win 12 games. You know. Not this that past year, but the year before. Loaded, man. God, that I know. team was loaded. But, but that team was loaded. But they're still loaded. And that's the thing. Like, I think they could still be really, really well, good. Their defense. Hang on now. Hang on now. They were loaded with what I believe to be a Hall of Fame quarterback. And true. They don't have that right now. That's true. That's true. But if Tua comes in and, and plays up to his potential, uh, doesn't get hurt, all that kind of mess, you know, they could they could keep on rolling. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens with it. Uh, number two for me, Tua, I, I had the Chargers as well for all the same reasons that you were talking about. Uh, I did have the Steelers as as the other option, if only because I know Big Ben will eventually be gone. There's very little competition uh, other than Ben in that locker room, uh, in, the, in that quarterback room. And the Steelers have weapons all over the field. I mean, they're, they're just loaded at receiver and, and all the skill positions. So... I would love to see him there. I mean, it's not going to happen, but uh, but I would love to see him there, if only because of my biases, right? Uh, let me go on and do my number three here. Justin Herbert. I want to see Justin Herbert go to the Patriots. That'd he wasn't... Boring. He Wait, what? That'd be extremely boring. It Yes, but I, I think that him going to the Patriots would be would be fun to be able to see him develop because I think that he would develop well under that coaching staff. I don't think Herbert is going to be good really anywhere that he go. He would have to go to Kansas City or somewhere like that where where you see quarterbacks being developed regularly with, with coaches that can develop these guys. Herbert, he's got all the size, all the measurables, all that kind of stuff. If you actually watch his game film, he has not been very good. I think... Him going to the Patriots, uh, I don't think that he would play right away. But you let him sit behind Hoyer, learn the offense and whatnot, by the middle of the year, I mean, you got a stud in there that's that's got every, I mean, he's the same size as Brady. He's, you know, all that. I think Herbert to the Pats would be the best fit and, for me, the most fun because I think it'd be good for the kid. Nah. Have him go somewhere and let him sit on the bench. That's fun. That's exciting. <laughs> that's what we want. We want to do this because we think it's fun. Yeah, go sit on the pine. Okay, okay. <laughs> Nothing creative at all. Uh, I think Justin Herbert would be really fun and really good in a place like Buffalo because that is a team that all the leaders are on defense, and so you don't have to come in and control the locker room, and they've got just enough weapons for a guy like Josh Allen to – look good at sometimes, but he just can't help but to Josh Allen it up and 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 be a moron. I think Herbert would be unbelievable there. I think Herbert is the definition of stability. Okay. The reason a lot of these teams are going to like him, and it has nothing to do with the size or his measurables. He is stable. All right. Okay. He's not going to throw he doesn't turn the ball over a lot. Okay. He's crazy smart. He's going to learn your playbook. He's going to learn your system. He's going to work within your system. I think he can make all the throws. Is he 100% on every throw? No. But the athletes that he's going to play under in the NFL are pretty damn good. Okay, That's true. These guys have bad quarterbacks throw to them all the time, and they make plays. Justin Herbert's far above average. He's, he's light years above what I think of Josh Allen. And I think if he was go to the Buffalo Bills, they would be a contender right now for the Super Bowl. Okay. I you know what? I could buy that. I could really buy that. Um who uh you want to go on with your number four? My number four, Jordan Love. Jordan Love is the YOLO of this draft, I believe. I think this is the kid that you only live once. Let's take him. And if he works out, he's gonna be great. And if he doesn't, guess what? I think you'll know in a year. Yeah. Are we drafting another quarterback next year? That's fine. I I actually like that. Me and you've had this conversation before. I'm not afraid of high risk, high reward guys because I believe that is far more valuable than Andy Dalton. 
where you draft him and you know that he's never going to be bad enough for you to fire him, to move on from him, but he's never going to be good enough to win anything. So I don't want that guy. I want the guy that can either shoot the moon or go kneel. I need you to either be terrible or be great. That's it. And I think think that's what love will be. I think love is that. I think the perfect team for him are the Titans. (laughs) Throw throw Tannehill to the curb. I'm not sold on that guy. (laughs) Tannehill is the definition of what I'm talking about. He is going to ride the middle of this thing all day long. So he's going to do just enough to not lose his job, but never anything great enough to get you over the hump to be elite. Okay. I don't want that. I don't want anything to do with that. Tennessee does not seem like the team that wants to be a middle of the pack team. Let's get a YOLO quarterback in here and let's find out. Are we great? or Are we not? That's an interesting, uh, that's a, that's a great spot to try that out with. I I like that. That's the perfect team to do it with. I I mean, if, if you're going from, from that, uh, I mean, if you're the Cowboys, maybe you let Dak walk and you take Jordan Love at that point. You know, that, that would be a good spot too. Yeah. But I, I just, I'm tired of, we have a lot of good quarterbacks in the NFL. We don't yeah. have many great ones. And I think that is boring. Yeah. I, you, you may have a very good point there. Everybody is sitting in the middle of this lukewarm pool. I, I put, I put Jordan Love with the Dolphins for the same thing that you were talking about. I, the Dolphins, I think, are still building. But if you have a superstar quarterback that can fling that thing around, like the Dolphins do have some weapons. Like they they have they built it from the ground back up. They've got some guys there. They started playing well at the end of last season. Now a lot of that had to do with what whether or not the other team cared, I guess. But you know, I think they've got a good coaching staff. I their offensive line, not great right now, but Jordan Love is incredibly mobile, you know. You got a guy in there that can make plays happen. If you just let him go in there and and fling that thing around, uh, I think he could be really good. I mean, you could see the Dolphins fighting for a playoff position if he's good. Like they don't have to have a great offensive line for a guy like that. So I I thought the Dolphins would be a good fit for him, and I mean they could take him back at eighteen or twenty six or whatever it is because I don't I I think he's going to be there. So you know that's, that's why I kind of like the Titans is I wonder. How married are they to Tannehill? And is this and they a paid him a lot of money in for? I know that. I know that. So. I don't. I don't necessarily like it. I mean, they're they're the hometown team. I don't think Tannehill was all that good. I mean, imagine. <laughs> just think of that. I mean, he 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 threw for less than a hundred yards in two playoff games that they won. Yeah, but threw for less than a hundred yards in each game, and got a hundred and thirty something million dollar contract. That is unbelievable. I want a guy, that guy will never win you a Super Bowl. Yeah. This guy might not either, but guess what? I'm going to know in five minutes if he don't. Yeah, that's true. I'm going to know real quick. One year, we're going to waste the season. Sorry, he ain't no good. Next year, we'll just get another one. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Take this guy the curb. I'll, uh, I'll give you my number five, and then uh, I'll okay. let you close us out. Uh, my number five is Jacob Eason. Now, there's nothing really fun about Jacob Easton. This is why uh, he is not my number five. But. He is Andy Dalton. It, well, it, it, God, I bet he hopes he's as good as Andy Dalton. Right? Well, I, I shouldn't say that. Andy Dalton made playoff games with some really shitty Bengal teams, all right? Yeah, so I, I'm telling you, I, I think the Patriots would be Super Bowl contenders with Andy Dalton. I really do. It, man, that offense is bad, man. That offense I, is bad. I know, but I, I still think the I think the Red Rockets still got some uh, some zing in that thing, man. Not I, a, it's not a quarterback problem for them. No, it's it's more than that. But also, they need to fix that offense. I I still think that they can. I think that uh, they can. Bill's but, not going to do that. He's not going to go out there and spend money on offensive players. No, no, he's not. But I mean, you never know. Give give Andy Dalton to uh, Nikhil Harry and you know a, a healthy Nikhil Harry and you know yeah, AJ Michelle Green and Nikhil Harry ain't that. Yeah, but he he at least made it to the playoffs with uh with AJ Green. So well, we I don't do know. that. Uh, yeah, you got a you got a valid point. So uh Jacob Eason for me, I think the most fun situation for him, uh, maybe not for him, but at least for us as observers, uh, would be going to Atlanta. I thought the same thing. When you said you were doing Eason, I was like, bring you back to Georgia. That's what I, I want. Out of. I want to see 
because he he left Georgia and it you know yes he lost his starting job I get that I I think he probably could have won it back he lost the starting job to injury and and then I left. think Kirby had moved on from him and he was just like all right I'm just out yeah I'm just out I'll, I'll go back home to Washington but if if the Falcons were to draft him as the heir apparent to uh, to Matt Ryan. That would be a lot of fun. Now, I know Matt oh, Ryan's God. still got some years left on him and whatnot. He'd be the but... same as Matt Ryan. They're both incredibly boring. Oh, incredibly boring. Just oh, insanely gosh. boring players. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. But I do think it'd be a lot of fun to see Georgia, fan, uh, Georgia fans that are conflicted. Now, I might think the same thing with Justin Fields uh, next year, right? Like, I'd love to see the Falcons take Fields because I want to see Georgia fans that are also Falcons fans have to pull for the guy that left their school. Like, yeah. I just think it'd be fun. Uh, yeah. Who who have you got for number and five? And then took that team to the next level, by the yeah, way. Yeah, that's 100% They had true. one of the best seasons in history of college football, by the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. That would be fun. While uh, while Jake Fromm uh, couldn't get him back to the playoff. <laughs> uh, so my <laughs> number five guy is a guy that we all agree is fun. I got Jalen Hurts, baby. 100%. Yeah. And this is is the Patriots quarterback if you want it to be fun. Yeah. Josh McDaniels is the one guy in the NFL that said, I can I could do something with Tebow. I could take that talent. And Jalen's a hell of a lot better thrower of the football than Tim Tebow was. Oh, yes. Hell of a lot better thrower. So this is Tebow like 7.0, all right? Yeah, I agree. If anybody can keep Jalen as a quarterback, and teach him an in it to build an NFL offense around Jalen. I want to see Josh McDaniels and Bill Belichick. And I actually think Bill wants this, by the way. I've said this. I don't know anything about the man. I think he wants to find a mobile quarterback that he can 